Yeah, hi friends. Uh, in this uh, uh, course, I am going to explain more about foreign currency valuation in SAP. Um, this is a foreign currency valuation uh, relating to the SAP financials. So, so how the foreign currency valuation will be done within the SAP. So I will uh, explain uh, using these uh, videos and also system demo. Uh, yeah, if uh, hope this course is uh, useful. So the target audience uh, will be the application consultants and the business analyst and uh, also the business users. So when we say the business users, they can be the SAP users or a normal business users who wants to understand the, how the SAP will do the evaluation and also the business analyst who want to know more about on the back-end process and in the, in the SAP so relating to the application consultancy if there is any changes needed on the valuations how this can be done within the SAP uh, without impacting the existing setup and also do a uh, few changes uh, relating to the foreign currency valuation so the prerequisite for this is uh, yeah I hope everybody knows how the currencies works so but yeah um, I would recommend to have a basic understanding on the currencies uh, and also it's good to have uh, financial uh, knowledge and also the accounting um, knowledge so what should be debited what should be credited and that's a uh, basic understanding you should have um, and in, in the in the in the accounting point of view yeah so if you don't have you should know the accounting uh, uh, knowledge on this I'm not training on the basic accounting postings uh, in this video yeah and uh, here the course um, um, goals at the end of this uh, course you know how the foreign currency valuation will be done in the in the SAP and also foreign currency configuration you can do yeah so in the introduction I'm going to um, explain some scenarios on exchange rates and uh, how the organization maintained opening and closing rates and also posting in, uh, in a foreign currency uh, in the, during the period and uh, business scenarios uh, open item managed accounts how the valuation is done using open item managed account and also how the valuation done using GL balance accounts so open item managed accounts uh, it's, it's a um, combination of a GL AR and AP so you can say customers or vendors and the foreign currency configuration I'm going to explain on exchange rate types how you can configure and also the valuation method and also the valuation area so the introduction uh, yeah so the exchange rates so you have a different exchange rates every month uh, it can be a uh, you have a functional currency and you have a transactional currency and uh, so you need to maintain the exchange rates if you're booking any invoices in the in the, in the uh, foreign currency so in the case of opening and closing um, the rates and um, when you're maintaining um, the system usually every company follows uh, uh, closing rates for this month uh, will be the opening rates for the next month so this is how usually the the countries or or, or uh, you know um, companies follow. Uh, I will explain more detail on, on this and the transaction posting in a foreign currency. Yeah, it's it's a normal transaction posting within SAP using a simple invoice. And I'm going to show you in the unit two. Um, I will explain on the business scenario on a foreign currency valuation before we are going into the. Um, system setup I am going to show you the business scenarios how the system is doing open item managed accounts and the line item managed accounts you know? so in the case of foreign currency configuration yeah, we, we need to um, exchange rate types how many exchange rate types uh, you can maintain and uh, in the system yeah, you can have 999 exchange rate uh, types and uh, um, the, the, this you can define as many you want uh, the exchange rate types but uh, don't go more complex uh, and uh, let 
you, you should advise your organizations in a simple way and uh, to meet their accounting or accounting principal requirements you know so in the case of valuation method uh, and the valuation method uh, you, have, you can have a lowest value principle or a highest value principle so uh, this can be done using a valuation method and, and in, the, in the case of valuation area yeah whether this should be posted to a local gap or it should be posted to the ifrs and also agv is this kind of um, um, no i mean at the setup i'm going to show you in the system so hope um, this course will be helpful uh, for the people who don't know how the uh, foreign currency evaluation will be done in the sap and uh, yeah so thank you guys and uh, if you like the, the course i would like to um, request you to give more inputs what kind of courses you are interested in, and i will try to uh, provide a more detailed um, configuration um, and also in the business scenarios for the forex valuation. Thank you.